Hello YouTubers, this is Shen2409 and here is my Xperia Z1 once again. So today I've decided to put it through a workload. I'm gonna run all of the most popular benchmarks on it. So let's start with Antutu benchmark. So as you can see on the phone screen, the phone scored 33,665 in Antutu benchmark. Okay, so now let's carry on to the next one. Next one on my list is the Quadrant Standard. So I'm gonna run the full benchmark. Let's see how well my Xperia Z1 performs. Okay, so in Quadrant Standard, the Xperia Z1 scored 21,132. Okay, let's go to the next benchmark. This time it's the 3D rating. So let's start the test. Okay, so in Antutu 3D rating benchmark, the Xperia Z1 scored 5,621. So, once again, an impressive result. So, let's move to the next one. The next one is going to be CF Bench. So, run the full benchmark. So, let's see what results we get. Okay, so the CF Benchmark has finished. And as you can see, here are the results. And here is our Xperia Z1 as compared to the Galaxy S3 and some older devices. Okay, so now we're gonna carry on with the next, which is the 3D Mark benchmark. So we are gonna run the Ice Storm Unlimited. And here are the Ice Storm Unlimited test results. So the Xperia Z1 scored 16,893. And as you can see, here is how it compares to other devices. So it scored a little below the Samsung Galaxy S4, but a little more than the Sony Xperia Z Ultra. So let's move on to the next benchmark, which is going to be the GFX benchmark. So let's run the performance test. I'll just run all of them. And okay, so the GFX bench was a really long, long benchmark. And as you can see, here are the results. I'm not going to attempt to interpret them, but for those interested, I'm sure they'll mean a lot mm -hmm. to you. Okay. And let's move on to the next one. The last benchmark on my list is the Velamo benchmark. So, okay. So, I'm just gonna run all chapters. Okay, so here are the Velamo results. So, the HTML5 scored 2903 and the Metal scored 1146. So, let's compare the results to other devices. So, as you can see, our device is on the top. So, in HTML5 and in Metal, once again, the Xperia Z1 is on the top. So, that was the benchmarking. I've gone through all of the most popular benchmarks for the Sony Xperia Z1. Uh, just a quick comment on the heating. As I've done, I've run seven benchmarks on Sony Xperia Z. One, so I can tell you the device gets a little bit warm close to the camera right here on the top. I guess that's where the CPU and GPU are located. So it's nothing too uncomfortable. It's probably about 40, 42 degrees Celsius, nothing, nothing major. So uh, yeah, just bear that in mind that it gets a little warmer up here. 
And yeah, so if you guys like the video, please uh, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'll have more XPRZ1 videos coming soon. Please leave a comment below if you want to if you have any content you would like to see.